it feels like every ever since the pandemic restart uh, a couple a couple of uh, conferences ago that the quality has been rising and rising and now with imports in i feel like the quality of play is actually better in general right now can you tell us a bit about your thoughts over the weekend oh well i totally agree with what you're saying because like us as vo volleyball analysts as fans we're just so excited that uh, there are foreign guest players because you're right so the quality obviously will rise the rallies will get longer and what i was actually saying is we expect lesser straight set games and like four or five setters because you know all the other players will learn from the foreigners so you know the quality will really just be up there mm -hmm. and Noreen, we you know you talked about the macro perspective of the of pvl in general but who stood out for you in, when it comes to their performances in terms of individual performances this weekend well, I, I'd like to mention the setters. I mean, it's a given already if we go through the foreign guest players because everyone played well. Yeah. Um, we have our expectations, but pretty much everybody played well. So the focus really, are, you know, is really on the setters because how they will get the foreign players to gel with the locals really is, is you know, it will fall on their shoulders. So there's, their decision making will be key. So we mentioned you know, a lot of players. Michelle Cobb, Ivy Perez yeah. played well, you know, D-Mac, of course, and Jel Cayuna. So these setters really doing a great job and we look forward to really, you know, as the tournament progresses, each team will get better, the rallies will be longer and, you know, it'll just be fun to watch. Yeah, you know, you feel that for sure. Siempre, when you look at all the setters, uh, you mentioned that they all played well, but I want to focus on a couple of the imports that did come along. Uh, let's, talk, let's start off with uh, Signal, of course. He, Tai uh, Bieria, Bieria rather, uh, with 20 points and 9 excellent digs. Of course, a Signal has always been one of those teams, uh, especially in the last few conferences, uh, wherein they were pretty good, but then were not able to go beyond, I guess, uh, you know, what they wanted to in terms of uh, podium finishes. Is the, With Tai on the floor with them, do you feel that she could make a big difference with this team? Is the fit good enough? Oh, for sure. And, you know, I, I always said, like, before the tournament, you don't you don't envy the coaches and the coaching staff because there's so many foreign players we can get, but to find the right fit. So, right now, it's really just, you know, trying to make sure that they practice well, they gel well, they bond well in and outside of the court. And, you know, Thai Beria, Beria. Yeah. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, <laughs> I had a game already, but I'm still practicing. But uh, what I like about her is she's not so flashy. And it's really a good compliment to the team. So they're hoping that, you know, her being consistent will help them get their, you know, their podium finish finally. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, another import that we're going to talk talk about here is uh, someone who I'm going to spare Jago from mentioning the last name. Thank you, um, appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, from Russia, the import of PLDT, Elena Samyolenko, and uh, 35 points in the debut. Uh, sabi ni Coach Pasco that they don't want to burn her out, um, especially given we already know her power, firepower, what she can do. What did you see from her and what can PLDT do to maximize her and uh, make sure everyone around her gets better as well? Well, actually, I was pretty impressed aside from her versus D-Mac because at the start of the match, she was like having problems finding the right set for Elena. But obviously, they want, like you said, they want to maximize her, giving her sets at the pipe, you know, getting her involved in any part of the court. And yeah, 30 points because slowly but surely she found her groove and yeah. and uh, yeah they maybe they don't want to tire her out but what a performance yeah. and what really impressed me is aside from offense is she can defend she is six five but she can dig so i mean we're really looking forward to the future games because she's really a powerhouse foreign player and talking about future and future games let's talk about this new team in the pvl akari what can you say about their opening day performance noreen well, you know, I said there's, they have so much potential, you know, it's really evident, you can see that. Yeah. I think Priscilla Rivera being, uh, can I say motherly, but uh, she's, a, she's a veteran, obviously, yeah. one of the older foreign players. And I think it's a good fit because she's trying to guide the youngsters. And you can see that they have potential. I yeah. mean, you see brash, uh, flashes of brilliance throughout the game. And what you can say really is they're going to really just get better. I mean, Coach um, Jorge obviously trying to put in different sixes to see, you know, and to give everyone 
a chance to get playing time. But I feel once he finds the right six, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be the dark horse of the team of the league. I I absolutely agree with that. And of course, uh, F two coming back uh, tomorrow against Cherry Tigo, and they are hoping that health availability is finally on their side and that they can do a lot better than they did last time around. Uh, really quickly here, Noreen, do you feel that this F2 team is going to be completely different from the one we saw in their debut in the PBL? I feel. I do, I do. I really feel it. And one thing we're looking forward to is the F2 logistics team that actually, you know, they're the champion team. They were champions before. They need to find their identity. They, yeah. they have to find their pride and bring it in court because that's what I'm sure all of, the, all of them, they miss that plus their fans and you know, given you know, the foreign player and the uh, Kalei Mao, I think, is joining the team yeah. and new ones like Ivy Laxina and so on. So it's a new team, but the core is intact and they still have that championship experience that we're looking forward to seeing this concert.